the going forecast mainly quiet to wrap up your Tuesday evening. The updated timeline is now suggesting post midnight into the early morning hours for Wednesday. Again, strong winds, heavy rainfall. That seems a high likelihood widespread throughout our 42 counties. Right now we're all quiet. We're just been tracking some passing clouds. Now we're in for a lot of sunshine as we get close to the sunset. It's going to remain hot and humid. We have a warm front that's positioned right up to the north of the Omaha Metro, and this is our, the next disturbance that will be rolling right along this front and diving down to the south, giving us that chance of severe storms for tonight. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center has maintained the slight risk for severe weather for practically all the viewing area. So this like risk is the isolated to scattered risk. Some of these storms could be packing some damage wind gusts again, large size hail. Heavy downpours seems to be the main three concerns. There's a very low chance that some of these storms could go tornadic, but I will be here all evening long, all night long, along with Sean Everson as these storms arrive. Here's the latest timeline, what we have right now. I really want to stress that this will be changing. We've got to keep a close eye on what's actually happening on radar, but current guidance is suggesting around 2 and 3 o'clock, moving into the northwest uh, of the Omaha Metro, then sliding down to the south as we approach 3 and 4 o'clock. This could be happening a little bit sooner in the overnight hours, but these storms could be packing a punch. Again, this is going to be our damaging wind threat throughout the overnight hours right into the pre-dawn hours for Wednesday, pushing down to the southeast, impacting southwestern Iowa as we get close around daybreak tomorrow around 6 and 7 o'clock. And folks, we're not done with the heavy rainfall threat. This will continue right into mid-morning for your Wednesday. Here it is throughout the early morning hours. You may want to pack the lunch we're still looking at damp conditions. It's not until this time tomorrow. We'll catch a break when it comes to the, the severe weather threat and also the heavy downpours. Now that same model data suggesting at least a half an inch for many low com communities. We could see upwards to one to maybe a couple of inches of rainfall. It's all depending on the heavy downpours and how they spread across the area. Here's a live shot of West Dodge right now. It's hot, it's humid, 88 degrees, partly cloudy skies from Epperly Airfield. Feel like number 95 thanks to that high dew point. We got some tropical air. Dew points in the lower 70s. That is thunderstorm fuel. So again, keep in mind, although we have the severe weather risk for tonight, heavy downpours will continue for your morning drive. Scattered storms possible around the noontime hours. So make sure you pack the umbrellas. You're possibly going to need it all throughout most of the daylight hours for your Wednesday. We'll catch a break by Thursday. Then by late Thursday and early Friday, folks, it's going to remain fairly active. Pretty much impact weather all throughout the next six days. So showers and storms seems likely at least a 20% chance of it. More chances of showers and storms for our Friday getting closer to this weekend. The temperatures maintaining closer to the average, but nuisance disruptive showers and storms pretty much every day for the next seven days. <laughs>